can you tell us some general information about who you are and what you do at BU? Okay, my name is Dr. Sheila Scott, and I teach in the Joint Department of Music Education. My background is in elementary music education. I teach uh, uh, two courses in music education methods, one for early years, grades K to three, and the second for middle years, grades four to eight. I uh, work with children on the autism spectrum, and with that background, I've developed and now teach a course uh, music for individuals or music for exceptional learners. And I also teach a course in assessment for music teachers. Okay. Can you tell us about what perspectives do you take on teaching and learning? Uh, in terms of teaching and learning, I take a constructivist perspective to the courses that I teach. Uh, that comes from a different co couple different perspectives. Uh, from Piaget, I look at learning in terms of cognitive constructivism uh, and that what that is talking about is how people, when they're learning new material, relate that to what they already know. And from Vygotsky, the idea of social constructivism, that we don't learn best by ourselves, but that we work through interactions with other people. And I bring both, both of those to my classroom teaching so that uh, rather than just engaging in a lecture style, that students are engaged in a lot of learning activities and they learn a lot through group activities and through group discussion. Okay, um, so you're going on sabbatical to, um, next term. Can you tell us about your sabbatical and maybe what new goals that you have for it? I, as I mentioned earlier, I do this work, uh, music education with exceptional learners. Uh, these are children with multiple uh, challenges or exceptionalities and some of the children that I work with are on the autism spectrum. Uh, when I first started working with these children about 10 years ago, I naively thought all I'd have to do would be go to the library and get a book music education for children on the autism spectrum. And there was no such book. And so I've spent a number of years uh, studying uh, how children with autism spec spectrum disorder learn and then developing music education activities to use with these children. And my last sabbatical three years ago, I started writing a book in which I talk about the research of how children on the spectrum learn and I am writing about the activities that I use in my classroom and I hope by the end of the sabbatical to have a complete draft of that book because uh, I think that will be a real help to educators and children out in schools that uh, oftentimes educators are frustrated or they'll feel badly because they feel that they're not reaching children with autism spectrum disorder and hopefully what I've put in this book will be of help to them. Okay, thank you.